Welcome back, everyone. Oh my gosh, where is the summer going? We're already halfway through. My goodness. I'm Shortcut Sherry, and today's tip, we're going to talk about how you can flag your items that are in Teams. Did you know you could do that? It's been on my wish list forever, and I found it buried. Thank you so much. Why isn't it more obvious? If you've been out to my YouTube channel, you know I have a whole series on tagging and flagging your emails. Awesome. But how do we translate that to Teams? Teams is a bunch of conversations. I have action items that I have to take care of from Teams. Sometimes we get those notifications in our email, like this. We have new activity in Teams. So if I go and open that email, it's going to direct me to one of many conversations that have activity. Fabulous. Now I could tag and flag this email, but I really just need to tag and flag the item in the email that pertains to me. I'm going to go to the conversation out here in Teams. It's going to show me where that conversation is. So I've got this mention that says, I'm attending a conference. Do you have any Contoso swag for me to hand out? Maybe I'm the person that's in charge of the swag. So if I need to flag that item, I have a couple of options. Over here in the reactions, we can like, we can um, love it, we can be cranky about it, whatever we're wanting to do, however we want to react to that message. But look at this other option. First of all, we could share it to Outlook. That was my old way. I'd share it to Outlook, and then I'd create an email, and then I'd flag it. It was kind of the backdoor way to get a task. But we've got a couple other here. We have can pin it so that it stays at the top. Or check out under more actions. You can create a task right here from a Teams conversation. Wait, what? There's also this create work item that has something to do with Azure boards. So check out the other options, but let's look at create a task. And where do I want to create it? Let's say get swag for Nestor. It shows me where it's at. I need to do that by this Thursday, and I'm going to add a task. So where does that show up? Let's go back and look at to do. So here's to do, here's my tasks, and here's the get swag for Nestor. So I can add it to my day, I can mark it as important, I can say it's due today or tomorrow or remove the due date. Let's say I want to make it due tomorrow, make sure I get it done this week, and I want to mark it as important. So now not only do I have that item in Teams to remind me because I had activity on it, but I also have a to do in my task list. Beautiful. All right, so that's the tip for this week for to do and flagging your tasks. What's coming up next week? I'm not quite sure because I'm recording this right before Microsoft Inspires, which is when it lets all us partners know about the cool new stuff that's coming out. So I'm really hoping for some exciting stuff next week to share with you. If you like this tip, join us every Tuesday when we share our Power Tip Tuesdays. And check out our website for the events we have coming up, including Waffle Wednesday. Because on Wednesdays, we are learning waffles. Thanks for joining me. I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.